Hey guys, I'm Alistair from Training Kale and this is the Cloud Boom. Okay, so let's start off with a really quick spin around. So this is a review of On's latest Cloud Boom racing shoe and I'm going to give you my experience running in it, first impressions, and I'm gonna go over some of the key features of this shoe, how it performs, and my final opinion of it to let you know whether it's worth buying or not and how it compares to other on running shoes. If you're familiar with my reviews and you know I've reviewed every on running shoe out there, I was there from the beginning when the first Cloud Surfer was released. Yes, I guess you could say I was a bit of a fan when that first shoe came out. I'm a stickler for innovation. I really wanted to follow this brand and see how they evolved and look at them now. So my first impressions running in the cloud boom were that this shoe is fast. And I was coming to the end of my run and I realized there has to be some kind of carbon plate within this outsole. And a lot of the times I don't like to look up the stats on shoes before I try them because I don't want that to bias my opinion on the shoes and what features it might have. I like to use my collective past experience on reviewing shoes to build a picture in my head before looking it up and that way I can compare what my experience is compared with the marketing speak and see if it lines up, see if it's worthy of having that marketing spin on things. Okay, so first up, let's look at the upper on the shoe. It is super lightweight and super thin. There's also only single wall in the top. Look through here, you can see my fingers, so very thin. Um, I do wonder how the durability will hold up over time because it's so thin. So far, pretty good. On's also using this kind of interesting seamless material at the top, so I imagine that would be really durable around the laces. So probably the most interesting thing about the shoe is that it has a carbon infused plate and that runs through the outsole here. And interestingly enough, <clears throat> The shoe also uses the Helion midsole, so that's really nice lightweight foam, very responsive. But what they've done is sandwiched the carbon plate between two layers of this foam. And that creates a really nice cushion feel, but also I feel like I've got enough road feel off the ground beneath me as I'm running. And I guess I would compare this shoe to the Cloud Rush most closely. It's super lightweight. But the difference with this shoe is it's got more cushioning than the Cloud Rush, and that was one of my cons with the Cloud Rush back in the day when I first reviewed it. It didn't have enough cushioning. Uh, this shoe solves that issue, and I personally feel like it's got about the same, or probably actually more cushioning than the Cloud Flow. So if you're looking at a racing shoe that has cushioning and is super fast, this shoe is definitely for you. Now it comes in at $200, so you might think that's quite expensive, but actually for a carbon plated shoe, that's very reasonable. So price wise, this is a great choice. If you're looking for a carbon plate shoe, it's gonna help you run faster too. Speaking of running faster, I smashed so many goals on my first run in these shoes. And that was one of the reasons I knew there had to be some kind of carbon plate in the shoe. The carbon plate essentially propels you forward because when you bend it, it snaps back and really gives you that extra boost as you're moving forward. Boom! Now the OnCloud Boom weighs around 7.9 ounces. It's super lightweight. Don't know if this helps show you how light it is, but it's nice anyway. And the final point to mention is there's a drop of nine millimeters from heel to toe on this shoe. And you can see there's actually a bit of a rocker in the shoe too, which really helps uh, the motion from footfall to take off kind of smooths out that motion to help protect your joints a little bit. So a drop of nine millimeters is one of the highest drops on on shoes, I believe, it's probably the highest. And that's to give you a more aggressive forward leaning stance, which is really what you want if you're racing on the roads. You want to be leaning forward as much as you can really, without falling over, of course. Other than that, the laces are nice, nothing special really to talk about there. A very thin tongue on this, very minimal. But uh, because the laces are nice and soft and they're kind of flattened out, you don't feel the laces come through the um, tongue as you tighten them. So it's a very comfortable shoe. 
to wear whilst you're running. A quick look at the outsole then, looking at the grip, it's got this interesting mesh pattern. Again, this is new from on. Um, got this classic gully which the CloudTech outsole has on most on shoes nowadays. And overall, I love this shoe. I've been hitting PRs and smashing my records um, over the last few days running in these shoes and I can't wait to up my distance in them, see what I can do in a 10k, maybe a half marathon as well. But essentially, these are road racing shoes for anyone who wants to run up to marathon distance. So if that's you, you want to bag yourself a relatively uh, low priced shoe that has a carbon plate in it, then definitely give these a go. These are going to help you improve those times on the roads. Well, I hope you enjoyed this on cloud boom review. Definitely give it a like if you did and share it with a friend if you think it will help them out. And please consider subscribing to our channel, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell as well so you get notified of new videos from us. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.